All right then. Last little bit of recording for today. Three more events. I think it's the professional season. I can't see the screen right now. Let me check. Just, just wait for it to... Wait for it to turn over any second now. And I'll see... It's just level 7. What's level 7? Professional season. Yeah, I was right. Okay. There's a total lapse challenge. An average speed challenge. And an overtake challenge. And these two are going to take about three minutes, and then this one, God knows. I just have to be at 40 miles an hour. Let me break out the Corvette for the speed challenge. Yeah, no idea how to unlock liveries and stuff. I meant to look it up at one point. I don't remember when I said I was going to do that. Because I, I know I, I said that I was going to do that. And then I just didn't do it. I will when I'm done recording. I will, I swear. This this isn't one of those times where I just... I, I say I'm going to do something and I never do it. This is one of those times where... I mean it. It's going to happen. You can, you can count on me. Ladies and gentlemen. Because I... Fully intend... To... Ask, you know, the big questions and uh, figure out how to unlock liveries and shit. Anyway, last week, I was talking about how it could be Kino, and it often is Kino, to just watch bikes go, you know, ridden by guys that know what they're doing. Uh, TT onboard footage, um, just, you know, I, I can't, helicopter cameras in, in uh, racing game replays I like. Um, I've never, I, I, Last night, let me try and phrase this correctly. Last night, I uh, bought Superbike Generations, Superbike 08, uh, MotoGP 09 slash 10, uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, and Metal Gear Solid Rising. And I decided to play. Well, it's not Metal Gear Solid Rising, is it? It's just Metal Gear Rising. And out of all of those games, I decided to play MotoGP 06, which is a game I've had for about two years. Uh. And for the... Must have been... I don't know if it was the first time ever. But for the first time... In... You know, that I can remember, I chose a Ducati rider... To play as in the game. Because I always choose Japanese bikes. That's my thing. Unless... Japanese and English bikes in racing games. That's my thing. Superbike... Uh, in the World Supersport tier of the Superbike games, I go for Triumph because they were in there, you know, 2010, 2011. Uh, but everything else, I always go Japan. Yamaha, Kawasaki, or Kawasaki mainly, then it will be Yamaha and Suzuki, uh, you know, somewhere, uh, after a power gap, is Yamaha and Suzuki. And then Honda are another power gap below. But, you know, I never choose to ride the Ducati. Because that's the one that always shows up in MotoGP's Ducati. But even in, like, the MXGP games, I've never chosen the TM. I hate KTM and Husqvarna with a passion. I hate those bikes. So I'll never choose those. That's why, you know... In the starting of the more recent MotoGP games, when you're in Moto3 and Moto2, 
I'll uh, avoid Red Bull KTM, even though, you know, riding for them would be the quickest way to rack up wins and get a good MotoGP team. I'll choose one of the no-name... Honestly, you could sound made up sounding shit, you know, Morbidelli and that kind of stuff. The 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 manufacturers that exclusively make racing machinery. I would rather ride a you know exclusive race company's bike than something built by a road company, just a, a genuine motorcycle company. Purely because of how much I fucking hate KTM and Husqvarna. I don't have that much of a problem with Husqvarna. It's just that KTM own them. And Husqvarna is just KTM in white. And I can't stand KTM. And I don't know why. Just, uh, I don't like BMW either. Just Euro bikes. Not a big fan of. American bikes are completely irrelevant. Anyway. So I don't even have to worry about those. But I'd avoid them anyway. It's just Jap... Japan and England, even if, you know, they're all actually manufactured in India. I just need something to stick a Union Jack to, or a Rising Sun, and I'll be happy. Anyway. I, I rode as, um, what's it, uh, Jos Jose, or Jos Luis Cardos, Cardus, Cardoso, in a MotoGP 06, I ran a, a quick race uh, at Laguna Seca, and after I got used to the idea that you have to drag the back brake in that game to uh, force the cars to drift, and... It didn't even spawn in a ninth car for me to overtake. So thanks very much. What a waste of fucking time. I choose nine cars to overtake, so spawn in nine cars for me to overtake. That was a good minute and a half in this event where I didn't couldn't even see any other cars and that's mostly because of the fog. But I couldn't fucking see anything to pass. You know what I mean? Wait, if I let this guy here go past me, does going past him count as an overtake? Is that the cheat? Is that no, it just goes down to minus one. Alright, brilliant. Well that's probably fucked me for this as well, so I'll restart as well so as not to bother wasting my fucking time anymore. Ah But stop taking video games so seriously. It's a fucking video game. Just chill out. And it was good. I had fun. And to be honest, for 2006, the Ducati was probably the best looking bike. I don't know what it was about the mid, late 2000s, but especially in, you know, MotoGP, they gave all the bikes really stubby tails, and they're just ugly as sin. You know... Honestly, Ducati are probably the worst example of this in uh, 2008. The bike basically didn't have anything behind the seat. And I grew up watching uh, Motorbike Mania, this uh, VHS tape of, you know, 80s uh, 500cc highlights and that kind of deal. So I'm pretty big on, you know, boxy bikes with plenty of to use another B bodywork on them. And I... Ah, it's, they've been getting back to it, I guess, more recently. 2013, I remember, they had some... Uh, especially the Yamaha. It looked nice in 2013. I like it when things that are actually... actually exist. You know? I 
Actually, back to complaining about uh, MotoGP races being nice and consumable, considering they only do one. Well, Superbike do two races as well. Actually, they started their season uh, at the time of recording this last weekend as well, and I haven't watched that yet either. So I got after this, I got a, after this, I got to look up how to unlock the alternative liveries in this game. I've got to watch the MXGP, and I've got to watch the Superbikes. My night is fucking pre-planned for me. Got to watch some anime as well. Got to make sure I watch anime every day. That's my whole deal. Yeah, make a start on some anime. Watch the sports. And pick out a flick to watch after dinner. And then not bother revising, because quite frankly I'm... Whatever. What what will be will be. I'm using these mock exams as just a test of can I actually get into university if I end up, you know, how much work will I have to do for my actual exams? You know, will I have to try it history? Probably. But, you know, if it comes down to it, can I just fluff it through on talent or English and what's my other one? Media? Most likely. I'll have to do a little bit of work on English, I think, but... I could flunk history and it'll probably be fine. I can cheese myself to a D, I think. I mean, the amount of points, exam points, that I have to get to get into university is pretty low. So if I do well in my other subjects, I might be able to make up for being shit at history. Who knows? Who can truly say? Anyway, that's it for this week. I couldn't be fucked to finish the actual thing, so I'll do it next week. Fuck it.